G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, the other day I had a happening with my reading glasses. Something I've seen happen to a number of people over the years, including myself. And that's that these little screws that they put in them, you can lose them, like they get loose in some places. They haven't liked to hold the frame on the lens like there or on the pivot point. And yeah, well, you know, they can uh, unscrew because they don't seem to use any locking device on them or compound. Anyway, cut to the chase. That one there fell out and the lens fell out and I thought, oh, well, I'll fix it. And I'll save all my little screws and, you know, nuts and bolts and things out of everything I throw out. And I had a couple of these, not exactly the same, but they tend to use the same thread pitch and same sizes you know sort of same range of sizes across all reading and gla glasses and sunglasses and all that sort of related stuff and it's just a matter of finding another screw which I did and put it in and you know okay it's all doable very doable but to work on these sort of things you've got to have really small screwdrivers like really small and I've got one of those standard sets that you can pick up real cheap. And they do a good job. And you know, it did the job in this case. Uh, just, I used the smallest size. And yeah, it did the job. But a size smaller would have been handy. And I don't have a size smaller in any of my little screwdrivers. Because I've got the set and I've got some individual ones. And I thought, shit, I reckon I could bloody make one of those. It'd be a dirt simple job and be handy for next time round. So I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you what I intend doing. This is the uh, set I've got. Yeah, it's, uh, oh, I think it's an eBay one. It's cheapy, cheapy, cheapy. But anyway, it's got various heads. Uh, some are Phillips and... Some are slotted, the really small ones are slotted. And uh, that's the one I use to do the, the job. I mean, look at that, it's a pretty, pretty simple device. All you want is some hard metal uh, and make up a little grip of some sort. So, yeah, we'll look a bit closer. Okay, so that particular little screwdriver is 1.39 millimetre. So I want something smaller than 1.39. Okay, so I've got a sewing needle which is 0.958, which is substantially smaller diameter than what I have got. And, yeah, that's made out of pretty hard stuff. And it should do the job nicely, so I'm going to just go with that. Right, so for the handle the grip I've got some 8.15 mil aluminium and I'll just go with a bit of that and we'll just make it the same length as the existing grip and just plain no fancy I don't know what this fancy ends for it doesn't need to do much but anyway I will knurl this so I'll just skim it clean it up and then I'll just run the knurl over it and cut it at length, end drill it, cross drill it, I'll explain why after, and yeah, lock tight the, the needle in. So let's get on with it. Right, so this is Imperial, I think. So go for the Imperial collar. Yep, it's Imperial. All right, let's do it. I should be spinning it a bit faster, but uh, this will do the job. It's just a bit of a cleaner. Hmm, coming up nice. These are those cheap bang good aluminium inserts, they do a pretty good job.
That'll do it. Right, to do this, I'm just going to use my standard HBM nail, scissor nail. I was going to use a fine nail, but I'll just use the coarsest one I've got because uh, I'm going to have to drill a cross hole through it, so that'll partly hide it. And uh, it's just a matter of now, set your feed rate to your slowest speed and also set your spindle speed to the slowest speed and put a bit of lube on, aluminium lube, you know, caro. Just feed it along. So, yep, just get your pressure on it. With your high point, bring it back. Turn it a quarter of a turn, or whatever depth you want to go. And then we're good to go. A spiral in it. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Artistic. Good enough. Okay, good enough. So now it's a matter of just grind the eye off the um, needle because when they make those, they squash out so that'll be a bigger diameter than the needle uh, itself. Right, well I've put that in with the Loctite, that's a wicking type Loctite, green, pretty damn strong, I believe it's 609, and that'll never move, so now it's just a matter of uh, grind the edge on the tip, so I'll grind the, the tip back to thicker metal, to the width I want, and then just grind a couple of flats on it, and then the job will be done. Okay, change of plan again. I've used some um, two pack epoxy. The uh, Loctite wasn't going to do it. The clearances were too too large, so that will do the job. So 
So I'll leave it stand like that for 24 hours. That's uh, I've coated inside and the, sh the needle, and I've left a little bit proud. So yeah, that should grip okay. We'll come back when it's set. Well, I had to do quite a bit of work on this. I didn't film it at all because I was struggling a bit. But basically the original idea of using Loctite or epoxy to hold in the, uh, the needle didn't work. So I had to uh, go to plan B and I'll show you what plan B looks like. Right, well here we have it now. That's the little grip. That's long enough. And I've I drilled it at 1.1 because I don't have any one mil drills and I don't I only had 0.8 and um, this being 0.95 or whatever it was, closer to one. It would have been too small. So I, I had to go to 1.1 and then that meant the Loctite didn't work, it was too loose. And so I tried epoxy, two pack epoxy, didn't, just wasn't strong enough. So I've drilled and tapped through from the sides and got three mil. I could use grub screws or I could use cap head. I use cap head, I like cap head and three head because, and three mil because you've got more, pur more purchasing power with your Allen key, the, the grub screws use a much smaller Allen key and they can tear out the insides of the grub screws pretty easily. So these are a lot more durable and it won't matter if it looks that, you know, sticks out. So I'll put it together. Now I'll put, it, I'll put a, a bolt in from each side so you get uniform um, tension on it. Plus it centres it a bit, so this, otherwise it would be a bit loose, possibly. Now I might try to keep my eyes open for a bigger needle, a 1.1 um, a needle, which would be perfect, because this is actually smaller than it needs to be for the screws I'll be working on. So, yeah, and plus doing it this way, the whole thing is interchangeable, so I can just swap over tips as I want to. Just a matter of finding... 1.6, uh, 1.1 mil needle, and I could even drill it out slightly bigger and put a slightly bigger one in. So it's got lots of lots of possibilities, and I mean basically that's it. So, yeah, that grinding the tip was a bit tricky. I did that on the fine grit belt sand and then finished it off on an oil stone, and that um, that came up okay. So there you go guys, just shows what you can make, didn't cost me anything, and it'll be handy for next time the screws fall out of my glasses. <laughs> Alright, that's it, hope you enjoyed it, see you next time, cheers.